ไปใส่บันนี่ขอบใจเด้อ This is Zoom <laughs> Welcome to a new video We're going to the temple For Buddhist Lent Last year at this time I was working Although they did Most companies give their employees The time off in the morning To go participate in this tradition I think I didn't even start work Until maybe noon that day This year I get to join I'm very excited. There's so much I still need to learn about Buddhism and the traditions here. And now we finally get to experience this one. Come with us to the temple for Buddhist Lent. <laughs> As we cut through some this yard. Oh, Pabi and Gabomi. Pabi and Gabomi. Oh, ni. <laughs> เตรียมให้เนาะขอบใจหลายหลายใน here this this little wooden thing or her basket actually not her basket but this little this little wooden thing is what we call a kan in Lao k a n d a k p a t So this is your little bowl for making merit. You put everything in here. On top, you see this k a t i p k a u That's the sticky rice container. And then also, we have this cloth that you wrap around, as she has, which is called pabiang, pabiang. Oh, k o p l m o o n l o m กินข้าวยี่บ้านไทยโอ้กินยี่วัดพอดีเลยอยากข้าวแล้ว so she's saying that we will eat at the temple after we give merit which is what usually happens anytime there's a Buddhist holiday or people come to the temple For an event, they will usually have a meal together, a big meal. Next important word for you to know if you're coming to the temple is Kuba Achan. So if you hear the word Kuba Achan, Kuba or Achan, they're referring to the monks. That's how you, that's how you refer to them. You don't just call them a monk. Call them Kuba Achan, like a, a teacher. Okay. I need to put on my c o p y All right. Say copy and go on. Nang Piba. Don't ever step over people or their stuff when you're in Laos. It's very impolite. So find your way through. Thank you. 
<laughs> I did this once in the temple. Ow. Comes out, eh? <laughs> hey. I'm gonna tie you now. I'm gonna tie you there. I'm gonna tie you there. Mắt hà biển. Mắt nèo đánh. Pot sư sư bò. There's another word for you. Two words actually. I was saying, how do we tie this thing? But we don't even need to tie it. You just need to... Hmm, what's the word in English for? Pad. Pad means to like... Have something kind of... Like lay on your shoulders. Like if you want to wear a scarf or this traditional thing. Uh, pa ka Scarf. So you'd say pa pa you could, Actually, pa pan ka you'd, you'd also... Pa pun. You'd wrap it around. But you could say pad for something to like lay on your shoulders like this. If you're not tying it. Pad. Hello. Hey, now I'm going to talk about it. She's uh, our little neighbor. See you, no? Tip. Oh, that's right. Tip. Tip in a loon. Tip in a loon. So we've got several things in here. I'll tell you all the names. We've got water nam. Katuk nam. Bottle of water. We've got some nun. We've got some khanom. Some, some treats. Uh, tian. Candles. Tian. And of course, you gotta have some traditional little flowers. And leaf in there. I think that's everything. They got big candles here. Bean. So my recon bean. This is that's Beam. His name is Beam. <laughs> All right. What thing nay? Cứ bóp bạc nó. <laughs> so if you're interested in Lao culture and you want to learn more about Lao, I'd highly recommend you go to your local temple wherever you live. People will welcome you with open arms to participate in the ceremonies and the traditions there. I also just noticed that if you are going to put this traditional if you're going to wear it, then you should put it on your left shoulder. <laughs> Tip is very interested every time I have the camera on, then shy every time I turn it on her. Uh, not, not like her little sister, Alun, is very, very friendly and not shy at all. The monks are arriving and everybody is lighting a candle. So, time for us to light a candle. I know that, buddy. She's lighting it for me on their candle. And now we need to put that here, eh? Pino. Stick it on there. <laughs> Very cool. Well, they take the water and the rice out. Okay. I'm going to ask somebody 
the meaning of this holiday. We opened the sticky rice basket and put some sticky rice in here for this part of the ceremony. So the first bit is completed, which is called Fang Tate. Going inside the temple and listening to the monks chant. They'll continue to chant. People will continue to sit there and pay their respects, pray, if you will. And the next step is for us to give merit. So we'll stand in line and then we'll do as we did the first time I came to the temple. If you haven't seen that video, take a look. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I got a little bit more information about Kalpansa, uh, but pretty much what I had explained before is it's a period to dedicate yourself to the five pillars of Buddhism, uh, to try to do good things and I think pretty much become closer with your, you know, your spirituality. That's the important part. Yeah, the five pillars of Buddhism. So you're not not killing animals, you're not drinking, and the rest. <laughs> so it lasts three months, and in that time there's four different Buddhist holidays. You have this, which is the start of it. You have Bun uh, Padapdin. So you have the Padapdin. You have Bun Salak, and you have. Uh, which is when it finishes. All right, let's finish our process here. Almost empty. So nice of her to help me. Perfect. All right. I don't know where the family went, but I'm starving, so they got to be eating somewhere. <laughs> I'm not sure. We're going to eat here, though. Empty now. Back for some more chanting. So this time around, everybody put some water in their khan. So I'm gonna put some water in my khan here. And then we continue praying. Everybody's pouring water as he chants. So. Finished. It's time to eat. 
<laughs> We're all gonna eat together. For those of you learning Lao, let's break down a couple of words for you real quick that you're gonna need every time you visit Lao, which is the bathroom. We've got the bathroom of the temple here. Hong Nam. So we have our Ha Han, which is a high class consonant with a Mai To. So it's going to give it the tone Hong. And then you have the A vowel and NG Hong Nam. In, no, nope. This is the vowel, these two together, um, and my toe, which makes it nam. You looking for men or women? If you're looking for men, we need to go sai, so sang, sala a. This is the a vowel, and this is a y. Sai. And here we go for women. Here we have our nyon yung, and this is a short e, sala e. And also again, that last letter in G sound, ying, for women. My lesson of the day, if you're looking for the bathroom. Back to the temple to get some food, because we all know how much I love Lao food. <laughs> <laughs> you count that. Oh, is it by hand in the night? Look, Park, no. Look, Park. We got our steamed vegetables, we got our jail, so moba, so ba. We got, uh, what do we call it again? Oh uh, no, not sour fish, or cured fish. Hot ba. Okay. Sambo. Sambo, but boy. Sambo. Sambo. One thing you'll notice is that people will just be sharing with everybody around them. So you have neighbors next to us, give us some stuff, we'll share some stuff with them. Everybody eating together. Definitely a different feel in here. Such a communal feeling. Anything that we didn't finish, it goes right back into the little picnic basket and <laughs> take it home with us. Right, boy. <laughs> you imagine it. It doesn't even seem like it's possible, but all this food here has just been in these little picnic bags that people have brought. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for another video, guys. This was such an interesting learning experience. This might be the area I'm least knowledgeable about, so we'll get to learn together when it comes to all the Buddhist traditions. Now that we're here, we get to learn firsthand. Everybody's making their way home after a delicious meal.